The biggest problem that the great spiritual masters of the world have to deal with in their day-to-day -day living is to have direct experience with absolute infinity and then not being able to talk about it, ever. They're aware of how extremely limiting language can be. Even art and computer emulation cannot convey the things they see and experience. Some of the masters are so fed up with this fact that they just tell their inquirers to basically go and experience these things for themselves. There's no point in doing a one-hour lecture on the taste of marshmallow when you can just go to 7-Eleven to buy a packet and try them yourself. The human imagination can only work with something. It cannot work with absolutely nothing. When you try to imagine the concept of nothingness, the closest thing your mind can come up with is empty space, like the air inside a container. You can't even experience deep sleep or a coma. The only way to know what nothingness is like is by contrasting that concept with the experience of coming into your waking state when your brain waves start picking up again and your consciousness starts accumulating new memories. Many masters often describe absolute infinity as something that is all-pervading and there is nothing outside of it. The only problem is that when they use a negative in their description, nothing outside of absolute infinity, the mind of the listener will immediately jump to some other conclusions. 1. Does that mean there is something outside of absolute infinity, like nothingness or empty space? Or if that was true, does that mean there can be something that is outside of this nothingness? And 2. If there exist things outside of absolute infinity, does this mean absolute infinity is finite? This is why I think we shouldn't use negation to talk about the absolute, because language can be limiting, and choosing the wrong words that do not align with your direct experience can lead to misunderstanding. The only way to make sure this won't happen is to focus on the attribute of absolute infinity and avoid using negation whenever you can. Absolute infinity is everything. It is all-pervading and it is the unending process of discovering what is outside of itself. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule of avoiding negation. For example, we can choose to admit that we don't know what everything even is because if we could, absolute infinity would be finite. We can use negation when talking about things on a relative level, but we can't do the same when we talk about the absolute. So yeah, just a quick thought I wanted to share with you. Have a great day, y'all.